Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to set up the DataGuard broker on Windows environment. And this particular tutorial is done on Oracle 19C. So the software used in this particular tutorial is Oracle Database 19C and Windows Server 2019. And the script used in this particular tutorial will be shared in the description. Now, what has been done is the DataGuard is set. The DataGuard broker is not set. The configuration is such a way that currently or up the host name is win19 primary win19 standby unique name the database name is aura on both and aura p is the unique name on primary so currently aura p is currently primary aura s is standby what we will be doing is we will be setting up the data guard broker and then we will be using the data guard broker to do the switch over so we will be setting the data guard broker and we will be using the data guard broker to perform the switch over and when we do the switch over aura s which is currently standby that will be primary so make aura s as primary using the data guard broker so that is our end game these are some of the high level steps so we will set the dg broker start to true on primary and same on standby so we need to set this particular parameter on both primary and standby we'll create the data guard configuration and add the primary so we need to create the configuration then in that particular configuration we will add the standby into that configuration we will set the static connect identifier to the connection identifier that this particular dg mg rl client will use when starting that instances we will finally enable the configuration, the data guard configuration, broker configuration, and then we will use the we will use the data guard broker to perform the switch over. So this is the high level steps that we are going to do in this particular tutorial. So let's begin. So before I before I do this, let's let me show it to you. So let me clear the screen and and let me run this particular query. And use you, you can see currently win nineteen or a p p is primary and it is on win19 primary so aura p p stands for primary is primary and it is hosted on win19 primary and let's go to the server aura s s is standby physical standby and it is hosted on win19 standby what we will be doing is we will be configuring the data guard broker and we will make this aura s as primary using the broker so that will be our end game and i also want to show you whether we know the transactions that we have so let's take a look at what how our record looks like so let's run this particular query <clears throat> let me take let me copy it one more time because looks like the copy did not work so yeah so you can see we got two two records here rock and water so there are two employees in our organization and let's take a look whether those two employees are here as well so let's <sighs> copy it one more time and let's paste it and here you can see we got these two employees now what i'll do i will add a new employee on the primary so the third employee joins our organization and then we will check whether really that employee got added. So you can see, let's me clear. So I had only two employees called rock and water. Now I got rock, water, air. So the now on the primary, I got three employees, rock, water, air. Let's take a look on our standby and find out if that air has appeared here, which means let's take a look and you can see the rock water air so the the data guard broke the, the, the data guard is working whatever transaction we do on the primary they are coming on the standby they are coming on the standby so the data guard is currently set up and it's working now that we have seen all of this let's go ahead and set up the so we have seen the data guard broke is set the data guard broker is not set and we are going to set that so let's begin so for that what we need to do as i told you we need to set this particular parameter to true on both primary and standby so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to put change this on the primary so that's done and i'm going to do this same on the standby as well so we need to set this particular parameter on primary and standby so that's done so i've set that particular parameter and only on the standby we need to clear this log arc dash 2 Otherwise, it will not get added in the data guard broker configuration. We need to clear this particular parameter and we need to do this only on the standby. Now, there is a way to find out what is primary and what is the standby in my environment. So you can see this is the font color is yellow on blue. That's standby or you can always take a look at this. This is standby. So where am I doing? It will always show you. So this is this is done on the standby and here it is done on the primary. So the green and white color font is the 
the primary. So this is the way you can identify this. Okay. So now that we have done the basics, let's connect to the let's let's connect to the DG broker. Uh, sorry, let's connect to the DGMJRL configuration. So let's launch this and let me clear this. Sorry. And and here let me minimize this. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say DGMGRL. And if I say show configuration, if I say show configuration, then you will see that there is no data guard configuration exists. You can see data guard broker configuration does not exist because that particular configuration, as we have not yet created that configuration. So we need to create that configuration, then only the data guard. So as of now, there is no data guard broker configuration. So let me clear this particular part. So how we are going to create the configuration is by saying create configuration. So let me take this command and I'll run this and I'll show you over there. So we are saying create configuration or you can give whatever name you want here. Primary database, whatever is the primary database, what is the connect identified for that particular database. So this is the way we are going to create the, this is the way we are going to create our configuration. So configuration is created and once we create the configuration, we are going to add, we are going to add the standby into that particular configuration. So add database aura as which is standby, connect identifier is aura as and I'm going to maintain as physical. So I'm going to add that here. Once that is done, so once this particular database aura as is added, now if I say previously it, we got the message that there was no configuration data guard. Now if I say show configuration, you will see that we got we got the configuration there is a configuration or p is primary or s is standby and configuration status is disabled so we just created the configuration we have not enabled that configuration that's why it is in the state of disabled so before i enable we need to set some more parameters so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this so i'm going to set the static identifier because i highlighted that that's why it happened so let's me copy it one more time so this is the problem that i'm facing the copy paste doesn't work that's fine so that is for the primary so we have done this we need to do this on the for the standby as well so whatever parameters i'm setting on the primary exactly same parameters and i don't have to connect to both i can do that from anyone so dgmgrl whatever commands i run it will get affected on both the databases so i'm going to do this do this so one by one i'm setting all of these particular parameters do this do this and finally do this so i've set all of this particular parameter again the script will be shared so no problem and now let me clean this clear the screen and what i want to show you something that whatever parameters i set for or rp same parameter so here the apply like threshold for aura p for aura s same transport like threshold aura p aura s so whatever parameter static connect identified for p and s whatever parameters i set for p i set the same parameter for s now it's time to enable the configurations right now if you if i have already shown it to you so if i say show configuration you will be able to find that it, it, the configuration is created but it is not enabled so i'm going to say now enable configuration and once I do that, once I do that, what will happen? This configuration status from disabled, if everything, whatever we have done is good, then it will be enabled. So that looks good. So the configuration, and now if I say show configuration, you can see currently it was disabled. Now it is success. We got success. It has been enabled. So that's that looks good. So now we are at this stage and I want you to note this. I want you to note this. So let me run this particular query one more time for you. So here, let me clear this host CLS and let me clear this and keep a note of this here. Win 19 primary or P is primary P is primary. And here, even the here, if I run this, you can see or P is primary. So P primary S is standby. Remember S S it's matches S is standby P is primary. What we are going to do, we are going to, uh, I told you this, what we are going to do, we are going to make or s as primary so s will become the primary hosted on win 90 standby and we will do this using the broker we'll use this using the data guard broker that's what we are trying to do so and i, I will also show you here so let me <clears throat> let me do this let me clear the screen and let me see where is that particular query god i should find it yeah so 
Aura S is physical standby. I'll launch one more command window because we will run, we'll keep that particular screen as it is. And we will run that same query on the another window. So now what I'll, what I'll do before I do that, before here, I will initiate the switch over. And to do the switch over in the broker, we'll say switch over to Aura S. This is the command that I'm going to run. So I'm going to say, switch over to Aura S. So currently you can see Aura S is physical standby. I'm going to make it. So switch over to Aura S. So Aura S will become the primary and Aura P will become the standby. So P will become the standby, S will become the primary. So let's run this particular command. And that's as of now, you can see the switch over is happening. So Aura S, now it's going to connect to the Aura S and it's going to it's going to bring the aura s it's going to bring the aura s as primary and aura p will become the aura p will become the primary so now this particular switch over is happening right now so that's going to take some time so it is 313 it's 313 what i'm going to do is probably probably i will come back once uh, this switch over is almost about to be done so give me a minute i'll just pause and come back I do not even have to wait for so long. So you can see within not even 314, I came back back within a minute and you can see the Aura S is opening and it's going to start Aura P also. So it's going to start the Aura P also. So it's doing this right now. So Aura and let's actually see, let's actually go to this and I'm not going to touch this. Let's keep this as it is. And here I'm going to open up another session and I'm going to say SQL plus Let's see if Aura S has really opened and it looks like it has opened. I'm going to run this particular query and find out how, what is that particular database looks like for me. So now let me run this and you can see this and this is the good thing. You can see that Aura S was physical standby. Now Aura S has become the primary. So Aura S is now the primary. It shows, it says that it's a failed destination because the primary is at not opened, sorry, the new new standby has still not opened so it will get fixed on its own so that's not a problem so now here it's it says starting instance so it's it's going to start this particular instance so give it a minute for this to happen and what what is going to happen the primary is going to come back and then once it's going to connect and the standby is going to get connected to the prime the new stand sorry the <laughs> sorry the aura s which has become the primary will connect to the new standby and if this particular failed destination will become the two standby so this is what is going to happen so give it a minute connected to idle system so it's doing that in the background so give it a minute and then what we will do is we will do one transaction we will do one transaction and check we will do one transaction and we'll check whether the transaction is going to the new standby so it's still in the failed destination because it is still not open so give it a minute so connected to primary oracle instance started so that looks good that look really looks good and uh, still here we are getting this so let's let me clear this and you can see now the failed destination is gone and we are getting two standby so that looks good and now so this is now the primary and here the aura p will be the standby so i'll keep this as it is i'll open one more command window and i'll run exactly same query here as well so let's take this and i'll run this here so sorry i did not even connect to the sql plus and i tried to run oracle query that's the problem that's fine and it says recovery needed it's going to fix that as well so that's not a problem so it says recovery needed so now you can see aura p was primary now aura p has become the standby aura s was standby it has become the primary so this role switch over has done and the way we did it is using one simple command switch over to aura s so this is the power of broker using one single command we were able to fail over etc and uh, so it still says recovery needed and you can see that particular thing is gone so now what we will do is one final time on the standby so on the standby so let's minimize this so this is the new standby which was the old primary so i'm going to take this and on the standby let's take run this particular query how many employees were there and what we are going to do is we are going to 
add so let's see so we have three employees on the new standby and let's say let's minimize this and on the primary also we should have <sighs> i don't like this but anyway that's fine on the on the new primary we got three so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a fourth employee and let's see whether the new primary is sending that record to the new standby so let's do that so i'm going to add a new record and the new record is called stone so right now we got rock water air and a stone joins our organization so the fourth record has come fourth employee has come and let's take a look select start from employee so we had three employees now we got four this is done on the primary so let's go back to the standby and let's see on the standby we should now have four employees and looks like the data guard the data guard is working and the standby the new primary is sending the deck records to the old primary or the new standby so the the, the switch over has worked the recovery mrp process has started etc etc so that is good so with basically we have set the data guard broker and i i just want to show you one more thing and that would be the final thing so let me open one more command prompt let me clear this and let me clear this and i'm going to let's see here i'm going to connect to the dgmgrl so let me i don't like to type the command because it actually wastes the time so I'm, I'm going to just copy paste and i'm going to say show configuration so i'm going to take this particular second command and let's see how the data guard broker is showing so this was the previous screen this is the new screen so i'm going to keep this side by side and if you see let me do one thing let me clear this and let's run this show configuration and if you see here aura p primary aura s primary aura s physical standby or our p physical standby so even the data guard broker is showing the role has reversed so p was primary now p is standby s was standby s is now the primary so we can see the same information from the data guard broker so this was the this was the tutorial on how to set up the data guard broker on windows we have successfully set the data guard broker and we have not only set we have done the switch over using data guard broker and after the switch over we have done some transactions on the new primary and validated those transactions are coming on the new standby we have successfully validated those transactions are coming on new standby i hope this particular tutorial was useful in this particular tutorial, we learned how to set up the data guard broker on Windows. Again, I would like to say that if you do like the videos that I'm uploading, if you do like the content that I'm uploading, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.